Bang, bang, that awful sound Bang, bang, my baby shot me down, 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 down Hello, I'm Michael Wilkins, supporting for The Yorker, and I'm sitting with uh, Flick Saunders and Emma Warren. And they've both organised SIN this year. How hard is it to organise something of this scale? What's been the biggest um, challenge? Um, when we realised when we took it on, like being done a turn vice chair, like that is your role doing Big D. We realised how big it is, but it's the, all the little things that you don't realise that you have to do, like all the insurance policies. Um, trying to book the act has been one of the hardest things. What's been your favourite part of it organising it? What's what really worth like a, a kick out of it? Um, I think trying to book the act as stressful as it, as it was was actually really, really fun. Like we approached so many different agents. I can't even think how many. Um, we've talked about so many different acts. We've had acts drop out. We've realised we've had to completely redo our budget to be able to accommodate some acts. Um, it's really difficult. And it's, when you're dealing with that much money, you kind of have to, you really have to think it through and think which kind of music people want to listen to. And you really get like a perspective of like, you've know, been really protected to that environment and then like going in and trying to get involved in it. Like it taught us a lot, like some things you wouldn't even realise like how much some acts were. It was just, I couldn't really. What was the most expensive act? Um, yeah. Booked or that we looked into. We tried, yeah, looked into. We tried the Disney Rascal and he was 75k for um, like for an hour set. An hour set? Yeah, so that we then realised <laughs> we're going to have to take a step back a bit. This is Hayley Thompson, who is a choreographer for Sind. The dance core of it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you're performing at Little D this year? We are, yes. So what's Little D like compared to Sind? It's kind of like a taster of the Big D in the evening, Little D's in the, in the afternoon, and there's a few different acts on. I know we're performing and the haunts are. We realise that for a, a more intense piece of choreography, we have to, have to be more loose around the theme. So the song um, is that we're dancing to is Chasing Status, Heartbeat. And the dance is very, um, it's good. It's good. Come and see us at Little D to see it. Okay. Which is at 12 o'clock, isn't it? Around then, yes, Around in the afternoon, point. yes. So, how was it filming the dance sequence for Little D? It was good. We were all really nervous at the start because we were wearing rather little in um, some gardens in the York Centre um, and it was raining and <laughs> there were quite a lot of people staring at us, but it was fun. We got into it and um, it, was, it was quite exciting then to. Um, Explore what we could do with the, the ruins that we were dancing around. Did you get anyone leering at you while you were dancing around? Was <laughs> yeah, there was um, quite a lot of builders up by the side, both right. whist whistling and shouting things. We did wear white masks, so at least nobody would recognise us. <laughs> Who have the annual position of being models for Sind, although we've just had a discussion suggesting of the various ways people have pronounced it. There's yeah. Simmy D and there's Cindy, <laughs> not Barbie. <laughs> that is stupid. Anyway, so, so for the record, it is Sind. What was it like being models? Have you been recognised on campus? Um, like, no, which is a good thing, I think. Or more, more through Emma and Flick having rather embarrassingly told us that we've been recognised and asked about yeah, them cool. rather than directly. And it's more like friends who have seen it be like, oh I saw it in that video. Yeah. Like, okay. Nice work. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I just say now you you play uh Destiny. I do. And you play Sloth. Yes. Which is quite fun. Yes. Yeah. Because yeah, out of all the deadly sins, they're the ones I imagine they eventually get to eat quite a lot. Yeah, but that, wasn't yeah. That yeah. Play, but that wasn't always a good thing. Like There was so much food and everyone just kept handing it to me and I was mm. basically eating it all at once and I just had a really full mouth. <laughs> so it was never really attractive doing it. I well, felt a bit sick afterwards. Now everyone knows that. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Modelling is not attractive. It's just the amount of food you have to eat. Exactly. It's, it's tough. tough. I know. How was about you? What was the biggest strain of being late and suffering? Did you just really want to get up and do something? Um, no, it was the, the most difficult thing was actually preventing myself from falling asleep because I had a lot of cushions and <laughs> it, was, it was very comfortable. Right. Um, 
and it was in quite a nice, like, it was quite dark and all very kind of sleep inducing, I would say. Sleep <laughs> inducing? Where did so, you film it? Um, in Evil Eye. Evil Eye. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. The bed there? Yeah, oh. it was brilliant. Well, so. there you go. You can visit the, the filming site of Sin. Out of all the seven deadly sins, which one would you say you have in real life if you had to have a sin? Oh, gosh. Can I say, I'm going to say gluttony. I think I love to eat all the time. Okay. So yeah, my, my I would have to agree, I would say we're, we're pretty bad at snacking. Yeah, stuff, actually we're very bad at snacking. But I mean, I must say, I, I think I'm and sloth, fair, actually. fairly well selected for sloth. sloth I have to deal with my lazy moments. They're quite the good sins, aren't they? I think yeah, so. That's it. You've always got to pick a good sin when you're saying you have a sin. Because someone's going to go like greed, greed, pride, really greedy, <laughs> <laughs> and enviable of everything. I know. Oh, yeah. that's, that's just weird. It's I think, yeah, you can't really say the last one by right, camera. No, what do we have? <laughs> um, <laughs> before I embarrass myself any further, thank you very much for chatting to us, and this has been Michael Wilkins with the Yorker.